everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome, my name is Katarina. I must say that I am really happy that it is new year right now and I feel so inspired by 2019. I have all new things I have started here on my channel but there is still going to be a couple of videos when we do take a look back to 2018 and the first one of these videos is going to be my last empties for 2018, so these are empties for December. I'm actually filming this now on 6th of January, but all of these products I actually did finish in December. And I actually do have quite much empties, so I do have all of my empties here in my press bin from IKEA. I feel in November I didn't finish that much of products, but now there is so much. So yeah, let's just go through this. Okay, this first empty is a little bit random. I don't know if it should even be considered to be a beauty empty. But I still want to mention it mainly for my Finnish viewers who want to find like cruelty free and vegan cosmetics. So this is a hand soap. It's from a brand LH Beauty and it is their Rosun Raikas Nesta <laughs> So yeah, it's like rose scented hand soap. It's really, really mildly scented. I actually think the scent of this was a little bit boring, but this was so affordable, like it's only a little bit over two euros. This brand is cruelty free and all of their products are vegan. So I think that's so awesome. I really want to support that because our country is quite small and we don't have that many brands. So if a Finnish brand decides to go cruelty free and vegan, I think that's so awesome. This brand has Leaping Bunny certification and they do have the vegan logo, like the vegan flower logo. So this is for sure cruelty free and vegan. And yeah, I will definitely be buying from this brand again. I do have like an apple hand soap from them. I like that one a little bit more. I think that smells a little bit better, but the scent is so mild that I think it's a little bit boring. But anyways, like washing my hands is not something where I'm trying to get like luxury experience. Like I'm fine with something that is easily available. I bought this from Prisma and something that works. Then I do have here a body lotion. So this one is from Andalou Naturals and it is their Mandarin Vanilla Body Lotion. I did really like this body lotion. It smells very good and I like that it's a little bit more lightweight, like it's not super thick so I think it absorbs to my skin quite quickly but it still moisturizes. I did enjoy it. I don't think I will buy it anymore however because this is something I need to order from US and I don't think body lotion is something I want to keep ordering from US. I think I can find nice body lotions from Finland too that are cruelty free and vegan. I must say that body lotion is like from my beauty routine the part that I hate the most. I actually don't do body lotion except in the middle of the winter when my skin is so dry that I have to lotion it. Then I do have here one deodorant. So this one is the Marks and Spencer Rose Antiperspirant and this one is so good. Unfortunately this got discontinued from Sokos. Sokos is the only place in Finland where you can buy this and the selection of cruelty free and vegan antiperspirants in Finland is like I think it is really sad because there is very few options around and the options tend to be a little bit expensive in my opinion for example the body shop has some but I think they are closer to 10 euros and I just don't think a deodorant is worth of 10 euros this one is really affordable it was like 3 euros or something I must say that when I heard that this brand is going to get discontinued from Sokos I went a little bit crazy and bought like five backups or something so I'm good with deodorant for now but I hope that when I actually need to buy a new deodorant it will probably be like in a year or in two years I hope then this selection here is better. I don't want to use natural deodorant because they just don't keep me dry and also with them I tend to smell a little bit weird like maybe not sweaty but you can smell the deodorant and I don't think it's that great of a scent so I need antiperspirant and I need it to be cruelty free and vegan so yeah I do have backups for this now but unfortunately it's no longer available here. Okay then I do have a couple of skincare products here. 
The first one is Derma E Vitamin E Skin Oil. I bought this, if I remember correctly, somewhere in the beginning of 2018 and I tried to use it like as hydrating face oil during night time, but unfortunately this one is like a little bit too thick and I feel it was just gross and it didn't really absorb to my skin and it really didn't help. It's just made my face crazy. I wasn't using it for a while, but then maybe in November or in the very early December I started to use this one like as cleansing oil and that was the way I was able to finish it. So this is now completely gone and I'm happy I found a way to use it. And I'm actually really into cleansing oils currently. I do have from Derma E a cleansing oil from their Essentials line and I think I will be doing double cleansing in the evening skincare routine in future too. Then I do have here my Holy Grail face wash. So this is the Body Shop T3 Skin Clearing Facial Wash. I have repurchased it already. It's something I have been using for years now. I like this one because this one keeps my skin more clear, like it prevents breakouts for me and I have tried to leave it out of my routine a couple of times and I always get little breakouts. So I have just been buying it again and again and I really do like it. It's really calming, I feel it's really effective, it takes all the dirt away. In the evening skincare routine I first do the oil cleanser and then I go in with this one. Previously I only used this on my morning skincare routine, but currently it is both in my evening and in my morning skincare routine. Okay, next I do have here some nail products, so let's go through them. I do have here a nail polish remover. This is from brand Sante and it is like a natural beauty brand and I'm sure this brand is good, but unfortunately this was like such a bad nail polish remover. If I put this to the cotton pad, I had to press the cotton pad against my nail like 10 seconds before this would take anything off. And then I could get nail polish off if it was like normal nail polish, but if I had any sort of glitter on my nail polish, I just had to rub my nail so hard to get the glitter out. So unfortunately this one didn't work for me. Finding like a vegan and cruelty free nail polish remover is also not that easy in Finland, but I'm actually currently using nail polish remover that I order from Beauty Bay. It is from brand Sosu. I do have here two nail polishes and these are both from Essence. So they were in my project polish and I did finish them up. Or actually there might be just a little bit left in both of these, but unfortunately they are now so dry and thick that I cannot use them and I do not have nail polish thinner, so it's time to let this go and work on the nail polishes that are still in good condition in my collection. So the first one of these is the Essence French Manicure Nail Polish and it is in the set French Are Forever. So this one is like sheer nail polish that gives like a little tint on your nails. My problem with this one was that it applied a little bit patchy and if I do have nail polish like this that is supposed to be sheer I really hope it would apply evenly and not give like weird white patches in some point of my nails and somewhere it would be it's just like very sheer so it wasn't my favorite of this kind of nail polishes but it's gone now and I'm happy for it. Then the another nail polish is the Essence Blockers Beauty Secrets nail polish and this one is in the set Hello Beautiful. It was like a pink rose gold. I actually haven't used this in a while. I had it hanging on my project pan. I think I have last used it during summer but I finally decided to throw it away. Like there might be product enough to get like one use but it's so thick. I'd rather use something that is still good. Okay, the rest of my empties are more or less makeup empties, so let's talk about toes. First, I do have a pack of these e.l.f. makeup remover cleansing gloves. I don't use these to remove makeup, I use them to remove swatches or to remove fallout if I do my eyeshadow before my base makeup, and usually I do it like that. If I have any type of fallout, I will wipe it off with something like this. I must say that I do really like these e.l.f. makeup remover wipes because they are affordable and efficient. They are really like wet 
but I don't think I will be buying this in future and the reason to that is that I need to buy this from US or actually Elf is sold like at least in Hehku in Finland but they are so pricey in Hehku like Elf is so overpriced in Europe and I guess this packaging of this would be like 7 euros or something like that when if I order it from iHerb I can get it like 2 euros and 50 cents. So what I think I will do in future is that I will just use like a micellar water and cotton pad to remove swatches from my hand and to remove any type of fallout that I do have on my face and that is also I feel the more affordable way to go because you do run out of packaging like this quite quickly but like my cellar bottle, bottle is like never ending product so I'm going to go that way in the future but actually I do have one packaging like this left I do have it over here then I do have here one makeup sponge and I'm just throwing it away because it was really a disappointing product for me I didn't like the way how it feels and applies my makeup so this is a sponge from certify so i did buy from certify a set that came with this sponge and then i'm going to show to you it does have this lash curler in rose gold shade and also this lash false lash tool these two items I do really like and these items are the reason why I did pick the set but it also did come with the sponge but unfortunately I don't like the sponge it's so hard well first off when I did wet this I feel it went like a little bit too big I don't like it if my sponge is too small but I feel this one was just like out of hand but it was weird because even though it got bigger it was still really hard and it was like punching my face with a rock so I didn't really enjoy it at all I don't think it applied my foundation very well so I don't want to use it again unfortunately it didn't work for me okay then I do have here one foundation and this one is the Catrice 24 hours meant to stay makeup I did finish the said 15 vanilla page and I do still have a couple of bottles of this so I do have number five and number 25. The number 5 is what I'm wearing today actually and the number 25 is like my tan set. This foundation is my favorite foundation. It's so good. It's really full coverage but still it looks natural and like wet on my face. It's not cakey at all. Like it doesn't go gross and weird around my nose but still it lasts very well and I think it's like on the same level with some high-end foundations I have used. But unfortunately this one got discontinued. This is just my luck. This has happened before that when I find something that I really really do like and really works for me, it either gets discontinued or then it may be a product I should get from US and it just got discontinued from all the websites I could purchase it. I think however that when I need to purchase a full coverage foundation next time I'm going to try from Catrice the HD liquid coverage foundation that is actually the same formula than the Fendi Beauty foundation but actually I don't think I need to purchase a full coverage foundation really soon I do have like a full bottle of this in my winter color and also a summer color and also I do have some other full coverage summer foundations so I don't think I will need to buy like a new full coverage foundation before maybe next fall when my tan has worn off and I have used another bottle of this one. Okay, then I do have here two concealers. First is Essence Stay All Day 16 Hours Concealer. This one is like one of the first concealers I have tried to be completely honest. It doesn't cover anything. It oxidizes. It does have really bad shade range like this one does have two shades. <laughs> But I actually did use this like as a base for more heavier concealers like Tarte Shape Tape. I do really like Shape Tape but sometimes it can be a little bit heavy on my under eyes so then I like to mix it in with something like this that is more lightweight. But in the end of the day I did use this like as my brow, under brow cleaner, will not repurchase. But then I do have here actually a nice concealer that I might repurchase in future. So this one is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I did finish this at C2. That is like my pale skin shade. 
And actually, I do have from this concealer a summer shade left, but unfortunately, this concealer is a little bit difficult for me to get. This one is sold in Prisma, that is like a supermarket here in Finland, and they do sell some drugstore makeup, but the shades are always out of stock. So I would need to buy this online, and this doesn't contain that much of product, it only contains 4 grams, and it's not like really high coverage, like it's good coverage, but it's not like full coverage. So I feel with this one, I do put like a little bit more than, for example, shape tape, that honestly little goes a long way, but this one I use much more, and because this one is so much smaller what comes to packaging, I just run out of it so quickly. So I don't know, I might repurchase this if it was more easily available for me, but I feel I should be buying it like constantly. If it's something I should buy like in every two months and something that I would need to order online in every two months, I don't know. There are some concealers here in Finland that give me a similar result, but that I can get more easily and will last a little bit longer. Okay, then I do have in this video a product that has appeared on my channel many times before. So this is the Catrice Silky Touch Plus in Natural Beauty, and it is the first blush ever that I used up. So here it is, as you can see, the pan is empty. I'm so proud of myself that I actually have finished a plus. I really did enjoy this. After I had finished this, I started to miss this already, because I just don't have blush that is so similar to this one. So this one was like a neutral warm brown blush. Many of my neutral blushes, I feel they are quite neutral, but this one had more warmth in it. Okay, then I do have here a couple of eye makeup products. So first is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. This one is my favorite eyeliner, like favorite liquid eyeliner. It's really matte, it's really black, it doesn't smudge. The only thing is that I'm starting to think that I maybe shouldn't do winged eyeliner because I do have hooded eyes and if you want to do winged eyeliner and you have hooded eyes go and do winged eyeliner like nobody is telling you to not to do it and I actually find it a little bit annoying sometimes that people are like telling me what I should or should not do with my hooded eyes like if I want to wear winged eyeliner I'm going to wear it but recently I have maybe started to like more the look without winged eyeliner. Like today I'm just wearing like an eye pencil in the lash line and then I do have some falsies on top of it. Or then if I want to wear winged eyeliner, I think like a smaller wing looks better on myself. But I think with this one, the only problem maybe is that I feel it's a little bit hard to control. I feel the bristles of this are quite long and because of that I just very often do get like too... I go a little bit too far, if you know what I mean. This is really really precise so you can get really really thin line but I just... I just don't think I'm like the expert of liquid eyeliner and the expert of winged eyeliner, especially on hooded eyes. So currently I'm not feeling that much of winged eyeliner, but I think this product is good. It's like a staple in my collection. I do have another one of these open already. And then I do have here my Holy Grail mascara. So this is the Catrice. I think it's called All Around Mascara. All the text has like burned off of this one. So this is the only mascara I use. I have one of these open currently. I think it's nice mascara, it doesn't smudge, it gives nice volume and length to my lashes. I wear falsies anyways, but sometimes like if I go to work very early, I don't necessarily do any eyeshadow, I just put on a little bit mascara, and with this one I can get decent lashes. But I must say that I am a little bit addicted to false lashes, so every time I do wear eyeshadow, I wear also false lashes. And I must say I feel maybe a little bit bad about that, because I don't want you to think that that's the way you should do. It's just I hate my own lashes so much, and because I have so hooded eyes, I feel that if I do put on eyeshadow but don't put on falsies, I just think my eyes look so small and tired, and I think false lashes open them so beautifully. 
but then again if I don't have any eyeshadow at all and then I put this mascara I think my lashes can look really nice and it's really good mascara and it's only a couple of euros so it's definitely something I will be purchasing in future as well. Then I do have here a few packages of false lashes. These are not like false lashes that I have used up but every time that I do open a false lash packaging I do move the false lashes to now into this container from House of Lashes and I store them there as long as they are good and then I throw them to trash when they are not good anymore but when I do open the packaging and when I use the falsies the first time then I do put these packages like to my trash bin so I do have here from Eyelure two of these three dimensional falsies in number 111 and I really do like this I am wearing this today actually. These are really nice, like they are in two different layers and I just think they are nice, like they are natural but still they give nice volume and kind of nice looking separated lashes. Then I do have here one other packaging from Eyelore. These are their most vended lashes in last list. All the Eyelore eyelashes are by the way either synthetic or made from human hair, so no animals are harmed. These I really do love, these most wanted lashes, and these last list are something I use constantly, but I have started to think that maybe this pair is not the most flattering on myself, because I do have so hooded eyes, and these are really really much longer on the outer end, so I don't know, I think they can make my eyes look like a little bit like smaller and if I have like lashes that are long also here like in the middle of my lid I feel then my eyes look a little bit bigger and more open so these are really really beautiful lashes but I need to be like really specific of which kind of eyeshadow look I wear them with. Then I do have here one product that I need to toss because I accidentally did put it to my washing machine it was in the pocket of my pants and yeah so this one is the bodies of born lippy lip balm in the watermelon scent so i did notice when i was taking the laundry out of the washing machine that there was this lip balm there as you can see there is really not that much product anyways but i did open it and it was in water with laundry cleanser and no, it's not something I'm going to put to my lips. So this one is gone now. This one was a really nice lip balm. However, this is unfortunately not vegan. I guess it contains beeswax, so I will not repurchase it. But it was nice and hydrating. Oh, and I do have here one more lip product. I almost didn't see this in the bottom of my bin. But this is the lip liner from Model Co. It was in my 5 by Winter Project pan. And as you can see, it is like gone now. There is so little bit of it left. It was something I got from subscription service from Lip Monthly. And Model Go is not a brand that is really easily available for me, so I don't really buy their products. So I don't see myself buying this one again, and I'm happy I have used up a lip liner. Okay, but that was everything for today. Those were my December empties, and I will film another empties video in the end of January or in the very beginning of February. Thank you for watching this video. If you did like it, please put thumbs up, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.